Hello and welcome to the Warwick School News Report. Today we are going to be looking at the effects of our landfill site. I am Billy and this is my colleague Josh. The landfill site is right above the Warwick School and as a result it has caused a great conversation between the public and the council. More than 500 complaints have been made about the smell. We will now hand over to Beulah and Atiyah who are interviewing Mr Searle who is in fact the head teacher at the Warwick School. So what do you think about having a landfill so close to school? interesting because it's been here for so long um, in terms of what I think about having it close to the school I would rather I'd rather it was further away it's not attractive it's perhaps not ever so appealing to people who are thinking of sending their children here although I don't suppose that it is a key factor in whether they send them here or not um, when I first came it was well below the level of the trees that you see out there and now as you can see it's about probably twice or slightly larger than that larger than it was when we began so I would rather it was further away because of the obvious effects that we um, that we have and that's at the moment is the smell isn't it it's something that concerns us do you think it'll affect any of the students it's interesting you should say that because I think I think that yes um, it will um, but largely in a positive fashion um, in the past we've we've had bids to Biffa because Biffa because of the work they do within the area, have to set aside a certain amount of money for community projects. Now, we've not had money from them for quite a long time, but we have had bit of money in the past. Um, we also have groups of students who go up to the site um, when they're doing work in geography and humanities. So it's actually quite useful for them to see the way that waste is managed, um, to look at how we might recycle in, in a more appropriate or more effective fashion. So there are, there are some real benefits from it. My concern, I suppose, is you were saying, will it affect our students' education? I think it affects people from the point of view that the smell's unpleasant. I don't know, and I think that nobody is yet saying that it, is, it has an effect on their health, necessarily. But I do have concerns that there does seem to be, at the moment, a question mark over whether, the, whether there is an effect on health. Thank you very much indeed. For I will put my hand up when I want you to speak. I, I, I can do it, miss. Okay, go on. Biffa, the company who owns this landfill, blamed the rise of rainfall for the smell. However, what about the summer of 2013, where there was no rain and the smell was still astonishingly bad? Um, our waste is mainly from Surrey and Kent, but we do take some from Sussex and London. Um, to give you an idea of how much waste, uh, we are allowed to take 510,000 tonnes a year. I'm sure that the positive benefit, the benefits of the landfill overweigh the benefits. Um, I think recycling and other methods um, are the best way of disposing of a waste. Um, it isn't possible to recycle everything, and I think therefore landfill will always be part of the waste hierarchy. Uh, we can produce electricity on the site, I don't know if you know that, um, that transfer the methane that we produce into electricity and we supply 12,000 houses with electricity from our site. What are your plans for the environment in the future? Uh, well, for our site here, because um, that was quite a big question, uh, so based on our site here, um, long term, once the site is finished, um, we will be putting it all back to grass, putting sheep and trees and hedges. Um, so it will look really nice, like a big park, which I think is really important when you've got a lot of development around you to have some green space. Have you had any complaints about the landfill? Uh, we've had a few complaints over the last uh, few months. That's more than normal, and that's down to the wet weather that we experienced in December and January. Um, we're now obviously working towards reducing them, but um, a landfill site will always have an odour at one time or another. Teachers have also recognised this problem. So, Miss Gray, what do you think about having a landfill site so close to the school? Well, when I first started here, I didn't notice it because I've been here for 13 years. But recently, you can now see it. And I don't mind most of the time because I'm so busy, but it's lots of seagulls uh, all around the all around the play area, yeah, and it does smell sometimes. Definitely. <laughs> um, do you think it will affect any older students' education? I don't really think it affects your education, 
I think what goes on in school should be fine. But there are days, if it's hot and the windows are open, where it's a little bit disruptive because everyone can smell it and it's putting them off their learning. Does it have any benefits? Well, obviously, people have got to put rubbish somewhere. And even though around the area, because I live locally, um, the recycling's improved, there is some rubbish you can't recycle, and not everyone's doing it yet, and the rubbish has got to go somewhere. Does it have any negative effects? Well, as I said, I live locally, and I have smelt it in my house recently, when it was really bad. You get up in the morning and go downstairs, and you can actually smell the landfill site in your house. So that is really quite unpleasant, and you get used to it, but you just wonder what you know, am I breathing in anything that's not good for me? Um, has this affected you before? Um, I actually moved house because although I didn't live anywhere near the school and therefore near the landfill site, I moved house because um, on a very still cold morning I could actually smell the fumes from the landfill site. So I had to sell my house at considerable financial loss actually and move um, further away. Councils are increasingly um, encouraging residents to recycle. Um, had they done that earlier, the problem would never have materialised. Mm. What do you think about having a landfill site so close to the school? Well, having been up to the landfill site, it's actually very well run and it's very organised. And I think a lot of people's impression is that actually it's not. However, I do think having it so close to school is not ideal because of things like it obviously smells quite a lot and on certain days if the wind's blowing in a certain direction or if it's a certain day when gases have been released, it's pr pretty unpleasant. Um, but, I mean, in a way, the group of students that I took up to the landfill site, we were doing a recycling project, um, it was actually probably enhanced their education by going up there. Eventually, when the, the part that we can see from school because the landfill site, I believe, has got nine sections and we can only see one section from school. Um, that will be covered in grass with sheep. So I know that they would say that a benefit would be that in a few years' time, that's what we'll see rather than obviously. But I think the smell, etc., will still continue. Mm. Jonathan Essex, councillor and member of the Green Party, gave his opinion. Are you aware we have had a local problem with the landfill site directly behind our school? Yes, it's been a problem for a long time, but it's gotten an awful lot worse since about January this year. Mm, for an environmental standpoint, can you highlight some green issues that could affect our community? Well, relating to the landfill, I would say that the best thing we can do is make sure we, we reduce, reuse and recycle as much as possible. The, the um, what could be done about the site to make it more environmentally friendly? Well, first of all, I think the site should go back to the high stands it, it had. For managing its landfill site seven, eight years ago. Um, it seems to be at the moment it's managing it in a way which makes it uh, not expensive to run, whereas what it needs to do is make, first of all, it, that the management of the site is, is good for the community and as good for the environment as possible. Um, are there any greener alternatives to landfill sites? Yeah, the, the, the green alternative is, is to think about, rather than think about waste as a problem, and say, well, where are we going to throw stuff away? Well, there is always a place called away, and the, this place here is called Red Hill. Um, but the stuff we're throwing away could be originally part of a forest. If it's plastic, it was originally oil that's been taken up from somewhere. But we're living in the world as if we have three planets worth of resources in the UK. We've only got one planet. Use it again, and then and then recycle at the end. That, that we really shouldn't need to use old-fashioned technologies like landfill or indeed incineration as a way of dealing with waste. We simply shouldn't really have it in the first place and with good policy and, and good working together should achieve that. Okay. Well thank you for your time sir. No problem. Thank you. And wish you all the local politician Chris Bin Blunt, Member of Parliament for Rygay and Banstead, also kindly gave an interview. It's been really bad for the last two months, ever since it filled up with water over Christmas. They didn't expect it to decompose quite so fast, they hadn't planned for it, and it's therefore meant that people have been dealing with a really annoying smell all around the area now for far too long. To get this sorted out, of course, is that all the property prices around here will have an effect. People will not want to come and live here because they're going to have to put up with this. That's why it's got to be put right. 
uh, and that's what's happening now with the Environment Agency doing all the work with Biffa, overseeing the work they're doing to make sure it stops and then doesn't happen again. And then I want to see uh, proper compensation for the community here uh, because they've got to put up with this and have had to put up with this. Um, and the community plays host to this and it's only right that the money they earn from filling all that rubbish, some of it then comes back in terms of local projects here. The smell is really annoying and that's, that's, the, that's what we think is the, is the problem. But if there was, if there was toxins in here that are, that are poisoning people, that would be an altogether different issue. Now, there's no reason to believe that's the case, so there's no reason to believe that people should have health effects. We've got Public Health England looking at the samples that are coming off the site just to make sure that that, 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 that isn't the case. There's very careful regulatory control over sites like this. It's why the Environment Agency is then checking what they're doing all the time and there are very clear regulations about how you run a site like this, what kind of landfill you can, you can put in a site like this, precisely to make sure that uh, you don't get a repeat of, of disasters, which there have been um, some time ago in the past, not in the UK, um, but, but this is examined very carefully and that's why the authorities and the agencies of, of, of the authorities are all over um, this site to make sure that that is done. I, I, frankly, I think Biffa's public relations out of this site has stunk for the last two months. They have a story to tell. They've got an explanation as to what happened here and what they're trying to do to put it right. They should be making much greater efforts uh, to tell local people uh, what they're doing rather than expecting others to do it for them. Although the landfill gives us a horrible stench, it can do good. As since 2009, the landfill has been turning its gas into energy for the national grid. Also, where would, you, where would your rubbish go if there is no landfill? Also, the members of the public gave their opinions. Just cut down on how much rubbish we do. Do you think the landfill is a good thing? What else are you going to do with it? I'm, I'm not really so sure. I don't know what the answer is. Obviously, we need to find an answer, but I'm not sure what it is. So, yes, I, you know, at this point in time... Do you think, think the landfill should be moved? If so, where to? And then last time, again, just because it's a problem to, on our doorstep, you move it somewhere else, it's going to be on somebody else's doorstep. So, unless it's like an island somewhere, you can put it on. That, that's really the only thing I think we can do. It, it's, it's hard. Um, what do you think are the pros and cons of the Um Oh gosh, I think it's somewhere to store waste, but one of the cons at the moment is the dreadful smell yeah. that's coming from the landfill. Um, do you think the landfill is a good thing? I think it's a necessary thing until we are much more climatised to recycling, so I think it's necessary. Um, where do you think, what do you think can be done to make the landfill healthier? Um, I think moving it to a remote location so that there won't be no complaints, nothing will be better for like, the people yeah. themselves. But at the moment, I don't think it will be moved. Well, it probably should be moved. The only problem is that no one will ever be happy, so I guess it would have to be moved away from residential areas. And now we hand over to Josefa, who's doing our weather report. Action! Hello, and my name is Josefa, and today I'm going to be reporting the weather for the southeast coast of England today. And this is the southeast four day outlook. As you can see, Thursday and Friday aren't looking quite good indeed. But for Saturday and Sunday, for the weekends, things are looking quite good. So if your children and you would want to go out and about, things are quite good. We have temperatures from 8 degrees Celsius to 15 degrees Celsius, which is very good indeed. With the landfill holding up to 75,000 tonnes of rubbish a year, how can we really sort out this problem? Thank you for watching the BBC School News Report. That's all for now. Goodbye.